Hey guys, how's it going? It's JD from DroneCamps.com. We have an exciting release today. DJI finally released waypoints to the, the Phantom 2 series and the Vision and the Vision Plus. So we're pretty excited about that. We've been saying all along that they were going to do that. Eventually it was going to be just a software update. We had an idea that this was, was going to happen. So finally they did and the cat's out of the bag and finally we all have waypoints, which is really nice as far as Vision and Vision Plus go, owners go. So um, you'll notice today on their website, it gave you all the information. The first thing you want to do is download the firmware update. You want to download to 3.04. It's going to be the copter um, firmware update. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to update your, your app on your either your iPad, your Android device, or iOS on your iPhone. Um, so first thing naturally you want to do is make sure you have the newest assistant on your computer. When you have your USB cable plugged in, it'll show you all the latest um, firmware updates. If you click upgrade, it's going to take you to that page. Uh, go through the prompts, wait for it to upgrade, and you should be to, for your, your main controller, should be updated at 3.4. So once that's all done, everything's up to date, go ahead and go back to your iPad. Update the app on your iPad. When you do that, it's going to uh, it's going to give you a new feature. So turn everything on and swipe to the left, and you're going to get to your new ground station interface. It's not going to be quite as exciting as the original ground station that was for the iPad. Um, it is a little bit uh, it has a few less features, but it has a lot of nice features. We still have um, different speed controls, slow, mid, medium, and uh, fast. I usually go about mid speed. Um, it's going to show you what what mode you're in. It's going to show your Wi-Fi signal, copter, and your uh, satellite links. We're indoors right now, so it's not going to show any satellites. But also relativity, you can change that. You can you can lock that to your position, and when you turn your iPad, that's when you turn the iPad here. In this unlocked mode, it'll it'll stay relative to where you are. Um, little red airplane is going to be where your your phantom is facing, so you'll be able to watch that during the process. You go ahead and set up a few waypoints. You can change these waypoints um, height, up and down. You can select each one, change it, and then once you're finished, you can select done and it'll give you the rundown of where all your waypoints are. You can do up to 16 waypoints on this. So DJI's opened up 16 waypoints on the Phantom 2 uh, Vision and Vision Plus. When you're ready to go, you hit the go button. If you want to adjust something, you can just go back. If you want to delete your current route, your route, you can do that. You can trash it and that'll wipe the waypoints uh, away and you can start over and make a new one. Um, you can also go to uh, if, it, if the map is all the way zoomed out to the United States, like it originally shows, um, you hit this button and it'll zoom all the way into where you're standing with the, the drone. So um, pretty cool. Very nice of DJI to do this for us. And one of the questions we had um, we'd like to answer is that people are asking if we could go, um, if they could still record their video um, from the app, can they go in and out of this? Yes, you can. So if you click here, be careful that you don't click outside of here because you'll set another waypoint. Uh, like we did earlier on the demonstration. We went to click this and accidentally we uh, set another waypoint. So be careful doing that. Um, and you can record here and do all your things and then you can swipe across the screen and go back and see where your copter's at. Um, another nice feature that it doesn't show here is that it's you're going to have a play button here. Once you hit go, uh, once you hit done and then go, you'll have a play button. You'll be able to pause or stop the copter along the route. So if you decide you want to take some more photos at waypoint number two, you can press pause. The copter will stop, maintain its altitude and its position and its heading, and it'll, you'll be able to take your photos, and then you'll be able to come back over here and press pause, uh, play again, and it'll continue the route. So if the copter goes down to 30%, we're told that the waypoints um, system will shut down, and you'll be back to flying in manual mode so um, 
that's pretty important to know. So we're pretty excited about this whole uh, uh, Waypoints uh, edition, and I, I think it's going to be great for for it's going to open up some new, uh, great new features for for your Phantom. And uh, if you're already a Phantom fan, you definitely are now. So we want to say thanks to the DJI for for letting us do this. And uh, so enjoy your new Waypoints. It's finally here. Thanks for watching Drone Camps RC. We'll check it out later if you uh, if you want to on DroneCamps.com. We have all the latest videos and YouTube updates. Thank you so much.